Departments. We're going to Immigration and Customs Enforcement. Rochelle Henderson is the Chief Information Officer. An incredible amount of activity going on over in that discipline. And Rochelle uh, can handle it flawlessly. Came from CBP and some of the, the most... Uh, we'll say comprehensive programs over there, including the Border Patrol, Air Marine, et cetera, is now coordinating brilliantly, I might add, the Southwest border activities along with many other things. Rochelle, give us a state of the state top line activity for 2023. I'm gonna give a couple. Uh, so I'm the Chief Information Officer at ICE. Uh, when we talk about successes here at ICE, uh, we're really talking about a multi-year journey. I think earlier on, I heard the word maturity. And while we have a little bit of that, uh, at least especially in processes and infrastructure, I think our real evolution is in building on those foundations, uh, those process foundations, those people foundations uh, that, that some of my colleagues mentioned. Uh, really, they're foundations that both Luke and, and Beth uh, laid at, at ICE uh, over the years. What we're really uh, evolving is moving into delivering technology solutions, especially at the Southwest border related to it with our law enforcement officers. Uh, in 2023, we, to continue a trend you've heard earlier uh, today, we really concentrated at ICE on the people. And I wanted to kind of talk about that in, in two high level ways. Uh, the first is an internal culture. Uh, within the Office of the Chief Information Officer, one of our strategic priorities over the last few years, and it's my personal favorite, it's the one I care the most about, uh, is really our, our mission delivery culture. Uh, we defined that as mission is the why we do what we do. We don't just deliver technology, we're a part of the mission. Uh, delivery is what we do, uh, and culture is how we do it. Uh, if you define culture, and this is the way I personally do it, so like simple definitions, uh, as the behaviors we live every day, I am extremely proud of, of our OCIO team uh, with whom I work. Uh, we've made significant progress uh, measured in a lot of different ways, right? When you talk about culture, federal employee viewpoint survey is important. Uh, it's certainly a traditional measure. But I think the, the biggest measure of culture is in our operational successes. There's a lot of examples of those. Uh, but what I will say is our culture prioritizes communication and collaboration and not hierarchical uh, leadership within ICE. Most of the communication and collaboration that we emphasize in our culture within OCIO is our technicians working with our operators at ICE and with the other technologists in our uh, components and entities with whom we work. People you'll hear me talk a lot about like at the department or like at USCIS or Customs and Border Protection, as well as the Executive Office of Immigration uh, Review, our court system at the DOJ. Uh, so when we talk about successes, my, my biggest success uh, uh, is watching my people deliver technology to the operators that's impacting them every single day. Uh, the other area in, in concentration on people at ICE in 2023 that's a big success is our recognition uh, that it's really important to use technology to interact more effectively with non-citizens. When you talk about what's happening at the Southwest border, when you talk about immigration, we can use technology to make it much more easy and effective uh, for non-citizens to follow the rules, to follow compliance, and for us to be able uh, to do our job within the immigration uh, system. So as border encounters rose at the border, I invested in uh, more, being more transparent and interacting with non-citizens. One of our biggest successes was launching a redesign of our our. Uh, ICE portal. That's the way in which we're going to uh, interact with non-citizens when you can use technology to do so. And I'll talk a little bit more about that success later. So when you look at successes for ICE and OCIO in 2023, it's all about the people, our people and all people. <laughs> 